during this period of time of the three weeks, I'm being allowed to listen to music, radio, TV, and other uh, live music. So the halakha is that during the three weeks, one is supposed to be mahmir, stringent upon himself to stay away. There is a whole sakha halakha in regards to listening to music all year. Listening to music all year is a questionable thing in the first place. Whether a person is allowed or not, it seems like most people are mekel, especially if it's not live music. People are mekel during the year. When it comes to the three weeks, or the, the morning over the instruction of the Beit HaMikdash, it's the time that a person should avoid listening to any kind of music, whether it's the radio or the CDs or whatever it is that's playing, to show live music. One is not allowed to listen to during this period of time. And is not allowed to engage. The only times that there's an exception, so it's subhat mitzvah, or something like that, there's music during that period of time, then it's okay. But otherwise, in general, one should avoid listening to music. However, all this is music with instruments. A person is sitting and is singing zemirot. A person is sitting and singing some kind of songs for Borei Olam, especially on Shabbat. Halakha is it's 100% mutar. It's even recommended. It's the right thing. Hatsvi Shalom for a person to take away from the music, the singing on Shabbat, Shireh Shabbat, or Tumdot of Shabbat. A person should not avoid singing during this time. Rather, that's 100% mutar and recommended. Only The only time that we say music is as soon as we're talking about music, that's again, with uh, actual instruments, and you listen to it whether it's live or you listen to it recorded, and it's on a CD or on a, on a radio. Yom Tov Mubarak.